Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. I want to show you what interesting products you can find in the supermarket in Turkey. And also answer the question, is it possible to buy alcohol in the supermarket? Because in many restaurants it is not possible to do so. So join me in this adventure where I will show you three supermarkets in Istanbul. One of them being located on the Asian side of the city where we went on a boat ride. And make sure you stick to the end because I will try some of the interesting products that we found. Come on, today we're going to the supermarket Sok. Something that I want to show you is that you have this Aydan, which is the traditional drink that we have been drinking in other places. So what is Aydan? It is a very popular beverage in Turkey. The principal ingredients are yogurt, water and salt, and it is also possible to add mint, but that is optional. For a liter and a half you pay 19 Turkish lira, or one euro. And in the restaurants, for a small one, I don't know what's uh, the size of it, but you pay 25 Turkish lira, so it's cheaper. Of course, in the supermarket it's gonna be cheaper, but I want you to know that this is the price and you have different brands. This one costs us also 19 per uh, one liter. Now some cereals, for example, these cornflakes, which costs 58 liters, which is the equivalent of three euros. Special K, I haven't seen in Poland, to be honest, but in Guatemala it exists. Also these generic ones, which cost 27 Choco Mix. This is like the other version of Nesquik, I'm sure. I do want to mention that they have huge bags of tea. In Turkey, the tea is super popular. Everyone drinks it many times a day. I had seen many videos of people drinking the Turkish coffee, but honestly, the tea is much more consumed. This costs us 85 Turkish liras for one kilo, but this is the equivalent of four euros and I think the great price for four euros one kilo of tea and this one a bit smaller this is the presentation of 500 grams with the Turkish tea on the front and it costs half the price so I mean there is no different price relation remains the same Doritos and Lace is something that exists in every country but for example this Turka I'm not really sure what it is it's with tomatoes and some seeds of some kind uh, traditional from here and we have also this Lace Baharatli which is some kind of Turkish spice. We have taken one of those. Actually, Ola is carrying it, so we're going to try it. And then this one, for example, Amigo. <laughs> this one is a word in Spanish. Uh, I think it's just like normal nachos. And for example, one liter of Coca-Cola costs us a bit less than one euro. This in Poland would cost you two euros, probably. Definitely much cheaper than in Poland. And something that I don't see is alcohol. I cannot find beers or any other type of alcohol. Okay, so this sock was located in Balat, which is about five or six kilometers from where the main touristic attractions are located. It is still a quite touristic place with colorful houses, beautiful cafes, but in the supermarket, I didn't find as many things as I was expecting to find. And of course, I didn't find alcohol and I thought that it could be because it was not a very touristic area. So I had to check one which was located on a more touristic area. That's the reason why the next morning, I went to another supermarket located in Karakoy, which is near the Galata Tower. And this is what I found. Okay, we are in another one. It's called Suck. I think it's the same one as yesterday, but it's in a different location. So we're going to see that there are different things. As you can see in this area, you can find a lot of fresh fruits. You have also the fresh strawberries in Poland. It's still not time for them. It's gonna be soon. We're going to see the sweet. Something that is very interesting for me is this top kick. Basically, they are mini chocolate cupcakes from cocoa or coffee, I don't know, and orange. I'm going to buy these because I want to see how they look. And make sure to stick to the end because I'm gonna be trying this one. And they feel that they are like, like this size. We're going to find out. They cost 17 Turkish lira, which is the equivalent of one year and then also this one with lemon i don't know which one should i choose i'm gonna buy them both <laughs> because i want to see how they are also this one is like a small cupcake it's got some dry fruits inside and this costs only 235 which is the equivalent of 10 cents of an euro so the prices are really good here something that exists and is very popular in poland are these paluszki this type of sticks cheese sticks in poland they're not actually like that they're more like salty sticks Maybe like, well, that's a different version because this one is spicy. I haven't seen this in Poland, so I'm gonna be buying one of these. I will also be trying this one. They cost six and 50, which is the equivalent of 25 cents a euro. So let's continue because there are so many interesting things in this place. And yesterday we were talking with some people about the alcohol because a lot of restaurants don't sell alcohol. We asked one person and this person told us that the reason why they don't sell alcohol is because they are close to the mosque and out of respect they don't sell it. And then another person 
in a bar that they actually say alcohol told us that it's because of the license and the taxes that you have to pay because even in the supermarket which is a very normal thing to do in other countries to buy alcohol here in Turkey it's not possible something that I do think it's interesting is the fact that if this is a supermarket and apparently a big chain of supermarkets why do they not pay for the license or I mean I think they could handle the taxes and stuff okay and interestingly you can see here that you can also buy the Takubia Frapp Donner I don't know how to pronounce that but you can also buy something to prepare your kebab at home maybe people from Turkey don't like this uh, as in Poland a lot of people don't like the pierogi from the supermarket and of course it is not possible to miss the traditional Turkish sausage this is the one that you eat in the restaurants for the breakfast this is what the turkish breakfast looks like scrambled eggs with turkish sausage for 400 grams 35 turkey lira, which is an equivalent of two euro basically a bit less than that i don't think it's a bad price i think it's, it's a good price i mean for the amount that you're getting there are different options because like this one costs us for 250 grams 105 turkey lira. so there are different qualities i guess i don't think it's a different kind because the color looks uh, exactly the same so i guess there are different qualities as in everything but 100 and five turkeys liters which is equivalent of five euro but you pay for that and i just found something that's called an anasim manti <laughs> which are like tiny tiny pierogi i think that you boil them and you eat them with the sauce they do seem like they have something inside and they cost 45 turkeys liters which is the equivalent of two euro and it's funny for me because they look like a mini mini tiny pierogi from poland and of course you couldn't miss the durum it's possible to buy uh, durum which is completely ready it costs 29 lira which is one and a half euro it has as you can see here its sauce the durum which is ready and the ingredients are meat probably with nuts as you can see there it says that it's got lettuce lemon so this is the one that you can see right there i'm wondering if there is another one with a different flavor i'm going to grab it right here now i don't know what maybe this is some type of kebab as well uh it doesn't really say what it is it did say what it was and it was Ustade I just didn't understand because it was all written in Turkish but as you can see here Ustade is some type of tartar which is passed down from generation to generation and it is visible here on the picture what it is and look baklava we haven't tried it yet and this costs only 30 turkeys liter one euro and a half for a big portion it's almost 800 grams you know to be honest I don't know exactly what this baklava is we've seen it in restaurants seems that it's some kind of bread with rice inside it's also the option for you to buy it ready make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the food tour of istanbul where i'm gonna be trying a lot of different things including the baklava so this supermarket which was from the same chain of supermarkets than the one that we went to yesterday had more interesting products but still no alcohol and we were wondering if it was possible to buy in the supermarket so that's the reason why we went to other two supermarkets and they were closed because there was no power around the area so that's the reason why we decided to go to the asian side on a boat ride that cost only 12.5 liras which is the equivalent of just 60 cents of an euro we walked around and we found a migros a much bigger supermarket and this is what we found i'm speaking a bit low because i don't want to bother anyone and there are also security guards here and i don't want them to tell me that i cannot record so that's why i'm trying to uh, be careful with that and i just want to say there is such a wide variety of products here there are much more products in this one and we finally saw alcohol in one of these supermarkets yes we were able to find alcohol as you can see on the screen and we were a bit shocked because the guard was taking care of the alcohol all the time we were able to find this polis vodka vivorovo and of course beers and we were impressed by this supermarket because there was such a wide selection of fruits and vegetables as you can see here on the screen and not only that but i mean in general there were so many different products and it's not necessary to go to one of those spice shops in the grand bazaar you can also find them here in the supermarket so many and you can also smell them just like you do in the bazaar yeah this is a really really big supermarket compared to the other two that we have been to a much much busier supermarket the one that we found here in this area so yes my friends it is possible to buy alcohol in the supermarket in turkey what a coincidence it was that the first two supermarkets that we went to didn't have a license i don't know how difficult it is to get one because i also found many restaurants that didn't have one i asked two people about this one of them told me that it's because of religious reasons and the other one told me that the license is quite expensive and difficult to get if you know the answer please let me know in the comments down below now it is time to try these products i'm 
going to try what I told you earlier uh, that I bought in the supermarket, the mini chocolate muffins. I'm wondering if the birds are going to come here. I'm probably gonna feed them also. For starters, I'm going to try it. As you can see, they are quite tiny uh, and we're going to see if it's chocolate or cacao and lemon or orange, we're going to find out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's dark chocolate and it's got a hint of orange as well. I have not seen these in Poland or in Guatemala, to be honest. So let me know if in your country you can buy these in the supermarket. And I'm going to try the... Okay, my pronunciation is awful, I'm sure, but it's Patlayan Leset Atsi Baharat. Um, it looks something like this. And I'm trying this in Poland because I'm editing the video about a month after we return, so that's the reason why, but let's see. Mm -hmm. And no, they are not spicy. You can feel the spice, but it's not spicy at all. I mean, they are super nice. I just thought that they were gonna be spicy, but they're really, really nice. I strongly recommend them if you are in Turkey. Let me know in the comments if you will eat them or not. Thanks a lot for watching. Make sure you hit the like button and you subscribe so you don't miss the next videos. And greetings from someone who explored some Turkish supermarkets. Till the next time.